Yeah. You're on the right track, though. That's right. So here's the sun gear. It's got a, a radius of 0.08. Yeah. yeah. 80. Here's the little planet gear. Mm -hmm. And here's the big fixed thing. This has a radius of 40. So what you said there is that at this contact point, the velocities are the same, which is great. Omega p equals r. Oh. Omega p r p is equal to omega s r s. Um, the one problem though is dealing with this. This point here is moving, which means it's not our instant center. Oh. So what we have to use is that point there. Because that's where the we velocity. Don't know that distance. Yeah, we do. Where? It's so we need the distance from here to here. Oh, you mean I, I thought you meant like the top of R. No. So you're Sorry. talking the top of P. Yeah, I'm talking that point where P contacts the ring oh, here. Oh, so we're using 80 as well. Mm -hmm. That would make sense. Why it's still five. So it's equal to 80 five. Times 80. Which is going to be 5 again. So, P equals oh. 5. And the reason we use this is because this is where, at that point, the gear's velocity is 0. Because it's touching something that's not moving. Right? So we have to do it where it's 0. Where it's 0. This here it is moving. rotating around like that. So that doesn't help us out too much. That makes sense. OK, so this one. Yeah, so let's let's look at one more thing real quick. Okay. We want to find the velocity of this point. Um, so we know the angular velocity and we know the radius, so we just solve for the velocity, right? Yeah, so what numbers are we going to use? Velocity of point, what's... You're just going to do point A times 5, right? Or, let's try, or I mean radius would be point zero four times 5. Yeah. Solving for the planetary, so that would be WP times RP. Do we need a cross product of them or just? We, we don't in this okay. case. Just making sure. Those are velocity of P. So we have our 5 times 0 0.04 equals the answer. Sweet. When you, the, the times you need to do the cross product are. Um, like this one here, our kind of arm between the two is only in the y direction, and so we can get away with just this. If it's if it's only in the y or only in the x, we can just kind of multiply. Them. Okay. When it's, it's really important C. is when you have like a link something like that. You know, here's it's attached to the ground, and you're trying to find the velocity there, and you you want to use a vector between the two um, because you have Part of it's in that part of that distance. Okay, I can talk. Um, your R has both an X and a Y. The Z is zero. But if it's just an X or just a Y component, you can get away without doing the vectors. Okay. So that's one of the shortcuts you could take on the last problem. Is there's a couple times where you're your um, your radius, your what is that position vector, that's what it is, is only in the x or y directions, and so you could have just multiplied them. Okay. But it's good to see it all the way out. So what's this number come out of? 
Point two. Point two. Point two meters per second. This is the velocity of that point. Yeah, right. velocity. I labeled it C. It doesn't really matter though. No. It doesn't. Okay. Just the velocity of the planetary. Yeah, velocity P is fine. Okay. It's probably better actually. Um, cool. So now we look at this. There's the center, although it doesn't look like it. Now we're going to look at the big sun, the um, Mo A, whatever it's called. Okay. The shaft. Yeah. So. It's coming out of the board like this. Here is. It's coming um, out of Z, right? Yeah. So we need to use cross product for this one? No. Oh, okay. Um, so essentially. Dead markers. So essentially, it's something like that. And it, it's rotating. Its center is fixed, it's not moving. Um, we know, however, it's attached to this. So if this is moving at 0.2 meters per second, and it's it's got a fixed center there, we can use the V equals omega R. For A, so V A, omega A, R A. V A equals omega A, R A. Okay. And that velocity A, the velocity of this, that shaft right there, mm -hmm. is the same as the velocity of the gear, because they're attached. So this here is going to be 0.2 meters per second. Omega A. Then we just need the radius there. We don't have a radius. Well, we do, because we know that the center is there, and we're at this point. So what's the distance between the center oh. and the center of that gear? I thought it was just of this literal shaft piece. Out of the whole thing. Well, we're looking at, we're using, we're saying the center of that shaft is not moving, so we're using that as kind of our ground point. Okay. So pretty much just going from here to here. Mm hmm. Okay. So it's 120. So 0.12. So I get 1.66. Six seven. How we look at? Yeah, omega is one point six seven radians per second. 